Hello everybody, today we will discuss about analysis of factorial experiment using completely randomized design for two and three factors for multiple response variables at once in our studio. In order to do that, you have to incorporate do bio research package into our studio. And I already import my data. My data name is NAP, which is contains seven columns and 24 entries, starting from replication ending with SY. So the three factors are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, while yield planted and SY are my response variable or dependent variable. So the first step is incorporating this package to our studio by tapping library and write the package into parentheses. Then check your structure. So when you, st when you check in your structure, here is replication, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are not factor, so you have to convert into factor by using as dot factor function. So type your data name, attach uh, the, uh, fact, the label that you want to change into factor. So here is, I use the dollar sign and is equal to then I use the as dot factor function in order to convert replication. So do for uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So type this and submit to our studio. So let's check our data, whether it's converted or not. Yes, here is a replication, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are converted into factor from what they are. Then the next step is uh, going uh, to analysis. So in this case, I will show you how to uh, analyze using the Dubai uh, the Dubai research uh, package. So the model here is if you want to compare for study design. Here is F stands for the uh, factorial. CRD stands for study design to indicate the factors, the number of factors that you are going to analyze. And here is the uh, factor. So data is your data name. Factor A is your factor that you set first and you set second will be factor B. And here is the multiple con comparison test. You can write either 0, 1, 2, and 3. If you type if you type 0 means there is no comparison test. If you type 1, it will compare the mean separation using the least significance difference. And if you type 2, it will separate the mean separation using the Duncan test. And if you type 3, it will work for honest significance difference test. So let's create uh, the CRD design using Duncan test for one response variable. To do that, you have to use FCRD2 uh, fact, then indicate your data name. Your data name is, uh, in this case, my data name is NAP, and I will show you or I will write 5. 5 means select the uh, the column five. So column five means what? Let's see. Column one is replication. Column two is nitrogen. Column three is phosphorus. Column four is potassium. Yes. Column five is yield. So R by default will know that you are going to analyze the column five. So type five here if you want just to analyze for what for yield only and indicate your uh, factor that are going to be analyzed. So here is our data name is uh, NAP and attached from that nitrogen is our first factor, that means factor A, and uh, do in similar fashion for phosphorus 2. And it's followed by uh, comma, then by 2. 2 means their mean separation will be due on what? On Duncan test. If you type 1 for less significance difference, if you type 3 for honest significance difference, and if you type here 0, there is no uh, multiple comparison test. So type this and submit to our studio. So it will give you it will give you detailed information. Yes, as you see, these are all detailed information. The first thing is that will give you its analysis of variance one, and uh, you will get this. And there is no statistically significant difference between the main effect of factor A means nitrogen, factor B means phosphorus and their interaction is not significantly uh, different and it will give you r square and also detailed information of both factors a and factor b and even their interaction and also 
it will give you the normality uh, assumption test for ANOVA that means using the Shapiro Wilk normality test and as you see here is the test is significant so the assumption uh, of normality is violated and again it will give you the uh, mean square uh, for error degree of freedom the mean and coefficient of variation uh, moreover it also give you here the critical range because then can, uh, it will give you more uh, uh, comparison ways so again you it will show you the main effect of nitrogen that means n1 and no in similar fashion it will show you for the uh, phosphorus this will be the phosphorus so the p0 uh, and the p1 in both cases the main effect as well as their inter their main effect of nitrogen and here is the main effect of p are uh, not statistically uh, significant then it will give you the detailed information for their what for their interaction effect so the interaction effect is also uh, is not statistically uh, significant like main effect of nitrogen and phosphorus furthermore uh, we can uh, we can add other response variable by adding here is the uh, second one is uh, the uh, column six so column six is let's see what is column six one two three four five six so column six is planted so add again it will add an addition of yield it will consider for what for plant height so all things are the same with this one so type this and submit to our studio so it will give you both for the yield as well as for what for the plant height yeah here is the plant head as you see here is the plant head and again it will go for what for the uh, it will start from planted from this and to the end is the planted section and the remaining or the upper section will be for what for the grain yield and again if you want to continue or if you want to add more uh, number of factors you have to convert uh, two into what three three it will consider what factor a factor b and factor c all the things are the same so again i type here is five and six that means including the yield and what for the plant head so here is the nitrogen here is the phosphorus i add what the third factor is potassium so these two means it's the mean comparison is the multiple comparison test that i'm going to use is what the duncan test if you type three i just see your whole significance difference so convert this one into three that means it will consider for what for three factors if you do for two you have to type two here so type this and submit to our studio yes so it will, it will give you this result yeah let's see the ranova the ranova yeah yeah the ranova is this factor a b and c that means nitrogen phosphorus and potassium interaction between nitrogen and phosphorus interaction between uh, uh, nitrogen and uh, potassium interaction between potassium and uh, phosphorus and potassium and their uh, interaction that means nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so it will give you detailed information their main effects yes their main effects for both parameters in this way so this is all about uh, uh, factorial crd for two uh, and three factors and for multiple traits so if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through my email gmail.com or I will provide in the description box or alternatively you can use YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.